Hi guys, it's Amber at the Chamber for our Moment Member Monday video, and I'm here with Alyssa Johnson of Brooker Price here in Earlham. Thank you for joining me. Yeah! I mean, I have to do that. Yeah, I mean, it's just part of the thing that yeah. we do here. Yeah. <laughs> so, tell me about Brooker Price. How do you get started? What do you do? It's a loaded question, but yeah. Um, yeah. So, Brooker Price Block is a historic building. Um, we were actually built in 1900. And um, it's a big piece of history in Erlum, specifically because two years after it was built, there was a huge fire that took down all the um, wood buildings up till this point, but this building was brick and mortar. So it stopped the fire from going beyond and taking out the entire town. Um, so that the hand pump fire truck, can think about it, um, could actually put the fire out. So, um, it's, it's historic in that way. Also, it's held so many things. Um, it has been office space. It's been a two-story grocery store. Um, it's been a house. It's been apartments. It's been a pharmacy. There's just been so many things in this building. Um, so when our roof collapsed in 2015, um, they thought, you know, what are we going to do with this building? And uh, we actually asked the community, and the community said, we want an event space and we want a restaurant or something of those sorts. And so it's taken us a couple of years, but we finally kind of hit our stride in about 2018, 2019. And that's kind of how the short story that came to be. Okay. And so what do you do in this building now? What programs yeah. do you hold? Obviously there's a really cool cafe who's also a member downstairs. Beans and beignets. Yeah. yeah so um, the building is owned by the nonprofit. So essentially Beans and Beignets and Flourish are a tenant of ours. And so, uh, but very much a part of our mission. Um, very community focused, um, affordable, entertaining, and of course sustainable for our community. So up here in the event space, um, we host programming and events. So programming, our focus is on kids and senior citizens. Those are um, big populations in our community and um, what we love to get back to. So we host summer camps and now winter camps up here. Um, and then for kids, and uh, that comes with, we also provide scholarships for that. Um, it comes with lunch and snacks. Uh, we have sponsors for that, um, and it's just fun. And we also were awarded a STEM award through the state of Iowa, so we have a bunch of very educational materials that our instructors use, and we have um, local instructors, so it's so, just wonderful. And then um, we also do senior citizen programming, which is our senior speaker series. Um, twice in the year, spring and fall, we host like an eight to 12 week series where we have presenters come up and just provide basic entertainment, historical, cultural um, types of speakers that come up and just provide an hour of entertainment basically for our senior citizen population um, because we know when they're in community they live longer, fuller lives. So that's really the whole premise behind it. So. That's super cool. Yeah, so that's our programming yeah. events. Yep. I'm getting tired of just talking about that. That's good. Our biggest event for sure has been our Farm to Table that started uh, three years ago and um, we host it every fall. We actually did a summer one last year too. <clears throat> but yeah, we host it every fall and it's not in our building, ironically enough. We host it out on our uh, front, out our front step here. And um, local. Uh, partner with local businesses and uh, usually work with an amazing chef that we switch up kind of every year, uh, local vendors for food and, and drinks and all that stuff. And it's just a wonderful community event where literally you just come to the table, eat a wonderful, you know, I think it's six, five course meal. Yeah, I think so. A uh, four course meal. And, um, and yeah, so that's probably what we're most well known for. But then we also host, uh, like we have a New Year's Eve event coming up at the end of the year. That's a first for us this year. Um, we also host trivia nights. Um, we've been known, you know, we have ideas for events too, but it kind of depends on what the community wants. We're very much community focused. So um, there's been talk of like doing a puzzle competition. That sounds fun, right? Especially in 2020, all of us were, you know, honed in on our puzzle skills. So so it just kind of depends. Um, we do a lot of, we've done wine events, we've done craft events, we've done food events. So it just kind of depends on what the community is looking for, but we kind of follow their lead. Mm -hmm. so. And you write for events, right? Yeah, so that's the other thing is this space was made to kind of fit 
whatever that was in it. Mm -hmm. um, so yes, we rent the space for um, weddings. It's not a traditional wedding. Typically we hold 150 people, but um, we also do graduation parties, we do showers, we do birthday parties, we've done memorials, we've done a lot of different things. Anything you need a space for, we, we have it. We also have a teen center out back um, that a lot of people don't know about. Um, usually it's for middle schoolers um, looking for a little alone time, but that space has um, some TVs, it has foosball, it has Xbox and all that stuff, and that space can be rented too. Um, but typically it's uh, for our middle schoolers to have a safe space to kind of hang out after school or on a day off or something like that. So, so we have that too. Yeah. Wow. Uh, well, I think you're in a unique niche because I don't know anyone else in small town Iowa or early winter set, anyone in our county that is doing so much for the community. And I love that you guys are so community focused that you get input on what to drive forward to. Yeah, so that's a huge thing for next year and going into 2022 is um, we're actually putting a group, a community group together to say what's next. We really established establish kids programming and that's been a really solid thing for us. And our senior citizen programming has been wonderful. And so we're kind of to that stage where we're like, what's next? So um, we are gathering that committee together to say, um, what does, what's the next thing our community needs? Because that's what we, we literally let the community drive us. Um, we are constantly asking, you know, what should we do different? Um, and what new things do you want? And we kind of go from there. So if someone was interested in joining that community, how could they do that? Yeah, email me, um, brickerpriceblock at gmail.com or head to our website, which is www.brickerpriceblock.com. Um, yeah, I, I, we are open to feedback, open to kind of what you see in our space. Um, we've had a lot of unique things up here. We have a lot of fun up here. Um, and yeah, it, it's interesting. It'll be interesting to see where we go. Where we started in uh, 2015, 2016 in the renovation looks completely different to what we, you know, we made it through a pandemic. That looked different. We were all virtual. It was very crazy. We did mainly trivia. Now this year, looking back, we only held, held three trivia events, right? So it, it literally, we just evolve with kind of what's going on. And that's fantastic. It's a healthy model to keep growing. Yeah. So I commend you and the work that your board has been doing to continue that trend. And also again, like getting the community involved is phenomenal. So if you're looking for a way to give feedback, they want it. We do. So please reach out. <laughs> so you mentioned a couple events. I want you to spotlight like, what's coming up. Yeah. What do you like? Come on out, celebrate. What? Yeah. So two things. A program that we have coming up is our uh, kids club winter camps. So it's the last week of December, 27th, 28th, 29th, and 30th. We have a camp each day. It spans age groups from kindergarten to eighth grade. So there's something for everybody. Um, and we do host STEM events. I've heard recently that um, some people are like, oh, that's a boy thing. STEM is not boy. STEM is all ages, or all ages, all genders. So um, so even if you see, we'll have a robotics camp. That's not a boys camp. That's an everybody camp. So I'm just gonna put that out there. Um, but anyway, so we host it from, if it's a younger age group, it's nine to 12.30. We cover lunch, we cover snacks. We actually have a great, um, partner, the um, Earlham Family Dentistry is our uh, sponsor this year, and thank you so much to them. They're sponsoring all of our lunches and snacks. Um, and then for the older age groups, we actually go from nine to two, so a little bit longer of a day. Again, snacks and lunches are covered. The big event coming up is a first for us. We've held events. I think we've held a different, not since my time. I've been up here for about three years. Um, we've held an event, I believe, on New Year's Eve, but never. New Year's Eve. So we have um, a really cool event. It is a night of uh, heavy hors d'oeuvres. So to come hungry, it's heavy hors d'oeuvres. I don't know if everyone understands that, but it's like a full meal. I know it's going to seem like a little light bites, but it's a full meal um, and several stations of food. And then we're going to have a DJ up here. We'll have a champagne toast. I'm looking to partner with a local distillery on a craft cocktail for the night. Um, that's going to be yummy and delicious. And so if you are interested in that, either of those, head to our website. If you go under programming, you'll see our kids' camps. And if you go under our events, you'll see New Year's Eve. So those are the big things before the end of the year's over, which is very soon. Yeah. <laughs> and we'll also put this in Chamber Chat again, too. So if you can't find it, Tuesday it'll be in Chamber Chat with direct links to those specific uh, program and event times. And honestly, like, 
what are tickets for New Year's Eve? New Year's Eve is 50 bucks. So um, again, that, that covers all your food and entertainment for the night. We will have a cash bar. Um, but yeah, so that'll cover all, and, and it'll, your champagne toast will be included in the again, I'm working on a craft cocktail that will be included in that price too. So. That's phenomenal. If you go down to Embassy Suites on New Year's Eve, you're paying $100, $150 per ticket. So what? this is yeah. a bargain and a great way to support a nonprofit in our own community. Yeah, so any event that we host, yeah. the money goes directly back to our programming and anything that we're doing up here. So that's something, even when you rent our space, it goes back to the nonprofit. So that's something cool and unique that you do not see everywhere where you can say, oh, I rented it for my bridal shower and that money went back to the nonprofit. So last question, how can our community support River Price? Yeah, just get involved. Um, I think, uh, like you said, emailing me with uh, different ideas and, and events you can see up here. Um, uh, we Our giving campaign is still going on um, through the end of the year. We're a 501c3 um, nonprofit, and so uh, any sort of monetary donations, again, go back to helping us build new programming and supports our current programming. Um, and then come to our events. Uh, we, I'm big up here and my board is too. Um, we try to give you an experience when you're, you, but also give back. So um, I love the party. Um, so I, I want to have that great experience. We want you to leave saying, man, that was fun. And also I gave back for a good cause. So um, come to our events, um, you know, if nothing else, uh, just like us on social media. We're on Instagram and Facebook. Um, and sometimes Twitter, sometimes, sometimes not often, but those are the main. Facebook and, and uh, Instagram are main. Okay. Well, thank you so much for your time. Yeah. Um, you. As we wrap up, the chamber will be open on Christmas Eve, 10 to 1, and then we will be closed the following week to redo our inventory and clean up the chamber. So um, you guys have a wonderful Merry Christmas, and thank you, Melissa. Yeah. High five.